It's live from last week, episode 40. Let's go! Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Just want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Just in between my two night shifts today, and I decided to cut my sleep short editing my drone video that I took a couple weekends ago at the cottage. So guys, I want you to check out the link above that I post or the description below to check out that beautiful drone video. But yeah, I don't know if you guys heard, but we had an election yesterday. And I guess we have the same results with another liberal minority government. Continuing on, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, I got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my old Wysik friends, Varga. Happy birthday, Varga. I remember back when I was living at Wysik, going to the gym and seeing you there and being motivated with how hard you worked out. And did I mention, I find it very inspirational watching your videos on property management and financial investments. And also remembering the last time I saw you was at Nikki's book signing. Anyways, Varga, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I hope that you had a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have is for a family friend of mine, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. I'm remembering the first time that we met at the SMIOA gathering back in Chicago, where you, your sister, and your brothers performed a dance number as well as you and your family visiting Toronto for the reunion a couple years later. Anyways, Vanessa, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I hope that you had a great birthday. Last but not least, I have a birthday greeting for one of my old co-workers, Grace. Happy birthday, Grace. I'm always remembering the times that we worked together in the step-down unit, and always trying to learn a little bit of the Korean language from you, and to now in the present where I'm taking patience from you from the PACU. Anyways, Grace, it's always great to catch up with you on report, Hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday, Grace. I also want to thank all my jaywalkers out there in advance for staying tuned every week and sticking it through with me for all these 40 episodes. Thank you, my fellow jaywalkers, from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, I hope you guys stick around for more in the future. Do you remember the 21st night of September? Well, of course I do, Mr. Earth, Mr. Wind, and Mr. Fire. Because last night's night shift was hella busy. Mainly because I got out at quarter to eight slash eight o'clock today. And on that note, I just want to welcome you guys to the first full day of autumn. The leaves are already changing. Autumn is here. <laughs> After I got up from my post-night shift nap, the fiance and I headed back over to Moore's for yet another tuxedo suit fitting for the wedding. And after that, call it a lucky day, but I checked my Lotto Max lottery ticket that I bought a couple days ago. And guess what came up? Winner, Gagnon. I won 20 bucks. Of which, the fiance and I decided to celebrate with a couple of friends. So we went all the way downtown to eat some dinner at a Korean barbecue place called Gyuubi. Where, before I got seated at the restaurant, had to show my COVID vaccination status, proving that I got both my doses of the vaccine. And after that, the fiancé and another couple, Royce and Liza, sat down and enjoyed our amazing Korean barbecue with lamb, pork belly, and prime steak. But yeah, shoutouts to Royce and Liza for joining us on that amazing Korean barbecue experience. And it was great catching up with you guys and having Ace for the first time since the pandemic had started. So although I had an off day from work today, it was still very busy. Starting with rising up early to surprise the fiancé by doing some household chores before she got up. Helping her fold all the laundry and the scrubs that were left on the couch. Making a fruit fly trap for all the fruit flies that have been roaming her kitchen. Taking out a full box of recycling. Taking out the secret inflatable kayak that the fiancé doesn't know about yet and putting it in the car. Going early morning grocery shopping. Getting the mail making sandwiches for a potential picnic and kayaking session later on today, cooking up a delicious breakfast of toast, a cheese omelette, and fried turkey for her, as well as cleaning the bathroom mirror, the bathroom sink, and the bathroom toilet, all before she rose to wake up this morning. But the main reason why I did all these things is so that I could help her clear out her schedule for the day, and surprise her, and take her on a spontaneous kayaking excursion, 
with that new inflatable kayak that I bought last week. But the only thing was that this surprise was kind of ruined for a couple of reasons. When she opened up the trunk of the car, she kind of saw the kayak back there taking up some space. And it also seemed like she was a little bit upset, mainly because I didn't consult her when I bought that kayak. And I didn't make any extra room for it in the storage locker that we have that is already full. Plus, when we got to the launching site of the kayaks at Old Mill, because of the torrential rains over the past couple of days, unfortunately, the water was too murky and too rough to even kayak in. So the fiancé and I decided to drive around Toronto trying to find different launching spots for the kayak. From nearby Sunnyside Beach to Ontario Place and to beautiful High Park. But unfortunately, the conditions were bad everywhere. The positive is two good things happened while we were out today. One, we were able to get close to a duckling that was crossing our path while we were walking. Why did the duck cross the road? To get to the other side, duh! And for number two, I was able to randomly run into a pretty cool guy. A friend of mine who I've always looked up to ever since the first time that I met him. Check it out! What's up everybody? Yo, Jagger! I haven't played with this guy in beach volleyball for... What? Well, last, beginning of last summer? Yeah, yeah, beginning of last summer, but hopefully I'll yeah. be able to play with him um, By soon. the end of the season, yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, man. Alright, All right. peace out everyone. Great yeah. seeing you, man. Yeah, man. Take care, I'm gonna head back. But yeah, it was great to see you earlier today, Jagger. And thanks for taking time out of your busy bike session just to say hi and to catch up for a little bit. And to later on in the evening, the fiancé's family came over for a little bit to have a Chinese food feast while Artito helped fix our washer from our washer and dryer set. So shout outs and big thanks to Tito Jan and to Jersey and Tita for coming over and spending time with us this evening. Good morning, everyone. It's about 6.25 in the morning and I'm off to downtown Toronto because I'm dropping off the fiance at work for her morning shift today. Running on two hours of sleep because I was awake until 4 a.m. Editing and putting out live from last week episode 39 for you guys. So guys, check it out if you haven't already. So hopefully later on in the morning, I'll be able to get some sleep and rest up for my night shift. Exactly 12 hours from now. So I'll see you guys later. So anyways, after dropping the fiance off at work this morning, I decided to stop by Woodbine Beach just for a little bit to get my legs going, walk on the boardwalk, and who knows, maybe I might run into somebody else that I know. Yeah guys, uh, there's nobody here that I know yet, but there are a couple of hardcores playing beach volleyball at this time. So maybe I'll just go home, take my pre-shift nap, and I'll talk to you guys soon. So after coming home this morning and taking a midday nap, I wanted to do a quick little workout on my exercise bike. The good thing is I was able to do my boxing training headband for half an hour afterwards. And although I'm still a little bit rusty, it would just take some time to get back to where I was since this is my first training session in over a week. And yeah guys, before I go in for my one random night shift on this Friday night, I just have a birthday greeting for one of my friends slash coworkers, Indy! Happy birthday, Indy! A person who is always a joy to work with, I'm remembering the memories that we had back before the pandemic, going to social outings, baseball games, and breakfast after shift, which are all things I look forward to doing with you again sometime soon. Anyways, Indy, hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy out there, and I hope that you have an amazing birthday. So before I go into story time mode for the jam-packed day that I had after my night shift, I just wanted to throw a quick birthday shout out to an FGAR friend of mine, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. I'm remembering the first time meeting you at the Ryerson Parade and Picnic, when you went up on stage and made the crowd go wild, as well as the time that you gave me a place to visit back when you were living in downtown Vancouver before the pandemic began. Anyways, Mark, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday. Anyways, on to today. While I was doing a mini carpool segment with Miss G and Josie this morning, I ran over a typical Toronto pothole, heard a loud bang, then, to my right, I heard a s -s 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 sound outside. So, when it was safe, I pulled the car over. Miss G and I stepped out of the car, checked out my right front tire, and you guessed it, I had my first flat tire with the Mini. So after dropping Miss G and Josie off at their respective homes, I called a couple of automotive shops on advice on what to do, and eventually ended up at this local joint. 
who had very nice people working there who gave me a couple of suggestions, including just going to Canadian Tire and buying a tire there, bringing it back to their shop, and then only paying for the labor to swap out the old tire and replace it with the new one. But after much thought, I decided to go through my messy locker and bust out the winter tires just a little bit early. Bring them back to this shop that had one of those funny flowing tube man thingies and get them installed there. And although it may not be the best look for my Mini, at least I was back on the road. So after finally getting home at 12.30pm, I took an hour and a half post night shift nap before making my way to Markham to visit Blueberry in my Ate Shah. Say hi! He's a video! He's taking a video! Say hi! Hi! As well as pick up Kuya John to be his Uber driver. And on our way to dropping him off for his nighttime flight flying out of Terminal 3 at Pearson Airport, we passed by these beautiful cotton candy skies. And yeah, thanks again Kuya John for the 5 star Uber review. And tell Blueberry and Atisha that I really enjoyed my Uber payment of ice wine cookies. And by the way guys, do you remember this scene from 2 months ago? I bought something at Winners for the Mini. Well, check this out. Look what I bought! Actually, I bought it a couple months ago, but I'm finally getting around to trying to install it in the Mini. So let's see if this baby works. So yet another addition to the Mini for you guys to enjoy if any of y'all want to join me for a Mini Carpool in the future. But yeah, anyways, it's time to go to bed for the night. Cause if you guys didn't know, I have yet another busy day again for you guys tomorrow. Good Sunday morning everyone. So after dropping off the fiance at the hospital to get a quick checkup, we're back at Woodbine Beach for a year ending beach volleyball tournament, which is set to be played all day today. So come with me and we'll check it out. So unfortunately guys, I got knocked out in the first round of the Group A playoffs with my first game partner saying I'm so sorry for making you waste so much energy.
to the point where I had no energy playing with my second partner. But it's all good. A big thanks to Rob again for setting up this beach volleyball tournament. But don't worry guys, I'll be back next time. But yeah, my mom just texted me saying that I have some belongings over at 52 that I have to pick up. So let's make our way there guys and see just what belongings I have over at that house. Oh man guys, they've got a dumpster outside. Yo, I'm hoping my stuff is- Yo! <laughs> Yo, seriously though, I hope my stuff isn't in that dumpster. Oh my god. Whoa, check this out. Lysol on Lysol on Lysol on hand sanitizer on Lysol. So we have uh, this lasagna container is Pyrex. Oh, branded. What happened to my toes? It's so dry. It looks like a zombie. Ah! Mm. <laughs> Ooh, the treasures, the treasures. Cool dude, joke book. <laughs> Yo, right. tell a joke, tell I mean, a joke. I found a good one actually. What do you call Rocksteady's identical twin brother? Mega ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, isn't this my table? I think this is my table. No, I made, I made this table. <laughs> you made it? Yeah. Wow. Yo, Justin and I are going to go to the driving range and compete for these golf trophies. <laughs> oh. Yo, my disco night. Where? That I, I left these for our LMFAO party in like 2011. Yo. <laughs> yo. Let's see if I can. Yo, check this out. Woo. My laser Laser light. theater. Oh, we had this the whole time. Yeah, man. Yo, my strobe light. <laughs> what? My ball of light. This one. Nice. What? Oh, disco that's light. Sick. My Ooh. LED disco light. <laughs> Yo, everyone's invited over for a karaoke party. Yeah. Now we just need to find the magic thing. <laughs> so the cool thing about yesterday going to the beach was that I got to run into some people that I haven't seen in a long time. So check out a couple of these cameos from yesterday. Yo guys, check out who I found. Joseph! Hey, yo, yo, he has to redeem himself for missing that, what is it, that spike and uh, oh, yeah. serve a couple weeks okay. back? Watch so. the videos today. Watch the videos today. It's going to take some good ones. Let's wait for it. <laughs> All right, man. See you guys. Later, man. See you. Yo, I'm going to get you on Let's video see. here, man. Oh. Yo. Hey, what's going on? Yo, Wysick alumni here. Yeah. Still at Wysik? Still, Still at But yeah, if you guys didn't know, the Toronto Blue Jays are on a roll right now. And they're making a push to try to make the playoffs. So in support, I bought this Toronto Blue Jays flag for my mini. Which we're going to put up in hopes that my beloved Blue Jays will go on a winning streak and make the playoffs. But anyways, I scheduled a date with the fiancé to actually take the kayak out later on today. But unfortunately, you guys will have to wait till next week to see the video for that. But before we wrap it up for this week, I have one birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends, Shay. Happy birthday, Shay. I'm remembering our times hanging out when we were in Mother Teresa as well as Good Shepherd. Not to mention St. Stephen's and Holy Trinity. And our times as first year university students hanging out with you at Sabara Hall. Anyway, Shay, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. And I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday. Side note, do you guys remember this scene from last week's episode? Yo, this is a shout out to Lou's Reviews to see if you could come out with a review for Shang-Chi. Well, Lou's Reviews came out with a review for Shang-Chi. And you guys can see that review in the link above. So check it out. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.